This video demonstrates a technique for creation of a custom length humeral antibiotic cement spacer for management of shoulder periprosthetic joint infection. The author's disclosures are listed below. In addition to standard revision equipment, the construction of the antibiotic spacer will require a metal guide wire, chest tubes in a variety of sizes, mineral oil, cement, antibiotic powder, and commercially available proximal humerus antibiotic spacer molds that come in the demonstrated sizes. Begin by assembling the humeral mold. The size of the proximal humeral mold is determined by broaching the humerus, placing a humeral trial, and taking the shoulder through a range of motion to assess component size and stability. In this case example, a size 4 long stem with a 48 by 18 millimeter humeral head will be used. Next, prepare the distal chest tube augment. The diameter and length is determined interoperatively using the sounder typically employed for humeral canal preparation. The distal canal diameter is converted to the corresponding chest tube size using the equation 1 millimeter equals 3 French gauge. Here, 10 centimeters of a 28 French catheter are used. Then, coat the inside of the chest tube as well as both halves of the mold with mineral oil. At this point, you are ready to mix the cement. Combine the liquid monomer and antibiotic powder first. Mix these until there are no clumps of antibiotic remaining. Then, add the polymer and stir until the mixture achieves the consistency of melted peanut butter. While runny, load the cement into a 60cc syringe. Use the syringe to fill the chest tube while allowing venting distally. At this institution, one packet of palicose polymer is typically mixed with 2 grams of vancomycin, 3.6 grams of tobramycin, and 2.5 doses of liquid monomer. Next, fill each half of the antibiotic spacer mold with cement. Remove the excess cement with a freer. Slide the chest tube over the cut end of the guide rod before the cement hardens. Then, lay the ball-tipped end of the guide rod along the stemmed portion of one of the molds. Close the other half of the mold on top of the first and secure with a clamp. Again, use a freer to remove excess cement. After the cement is hard, use a 10 blade and freer to remove the chest tube. Then, remove the clamp and open the mold. You may need to use a humeral head impactor to free the final construct. You have now created a custom length humeral antibiotic cement spacer. You can trim length with bolt cutters and file with a Dara retractor for finishing touches. Thank you for watching our video.